today we're going to talk about the next item on our transformations list called reflections. Have your notebooks handy, you need to write some stuff down. A reflection, instead of being a slide, is created when one object is a mirror image of the other. So another word for reflection is also a flip. But basically they're mirror images of one another. So we're going to go to Sketchpad so that we can uh, see what happens when we have a reflection. Now I've already got my pre-image created. So now I'm going to select my Y axis. It's important to remember that that's the Y axis. And I'm going to mark that as my mirror. Then I'm going to select my entire object and I'm going to reflect. Notice where my new image, or yeah, where my image ended up. It is a direct mirror image on the opposite side of the Y axis. That's why it's important to remember that the Y axis itself was our mirror. So let's measure the coordinates for our new reflection and see what happens to our points. If I'm comparing A and A prime, exactly what it is that changed in these points. Look at B and B prime, that might show us a little better. From negative three to negative three nine, which is where point B is, negative three nine, to positive three nine, which is where point B prime is. What exactly happened to our X values and our Y values? Did the same thing happen from C to C prime and from D to D prime? Let's move our shape just a little bit and see if the same thing happened that we were just thinking. Look at A and A prime now. From negative 10, 3 to positive 10, 3. from negative 6, 5 to positive 6, 5. From negative 6, negative 1 to positive 6, negative 1. Think about what's happening to our individual x values and y values from negative 10 to 10 and from negative 1 to negative 1. What is it exactly that changed? Let's write it down. So what happened to our x values? We're going to say, now here they went from negative to positive. We're going to say that they changed sign. It didn't matter which sign changed to which sign. The important part is that my x values changed sign. And what happened to our y values? Our y values stayed exactly the same. Stayed the same. Remember that the y axis was our mirror. The x values changed sign where our y values stayed the same. Let's see if that holds true when we do one other thing. I'm going to move this object over just slightly. This time instead of marking my Y axis, I'm going to mark the X axis as my mirror. And I'm, let's see, mark mirror. Then I'm going to select my entire object and reflect. I'm going to bring my object in a little bit so that we can have it all on the screen. And let's measure the coordinates for our new points. Uh, 
Okay, now we have an exact mirror image, pre-image, image, reflected across the X axis. Let's see what that does to our points. Here's A and A prime. Let's move those over a little bit so that you guys can see better. What happened now? Here's our original X, here's our new X. 5 was our original Y, here's our new Y at negative 5. Which one changed this time, the X or the Y? Let's look at B and B prime. We went from negative 5 to negative 5 on our X values and positive 7 to negative 7 on our Y values. Was that the same change that our A points made? How about C and C prime from negative 5 to negative 5 and from 1 to negative 1? Is that the same change? And finally our D points from negative 9 to negative 9 on our X values and from 1 to negative 1 on our Y values. Was that the same change? So let's write down exactly what it is that's happening here. What's happening to our X values this time? Our X values stayed the same. And what happened to our Y values? Our Y values went from positive to negative, but we're just going to say that they changed sign. The reason we just want to say that they changed sign is look what happens if I move my pre-image down below. Look what happened to our A and A prime now. Let's move that over a little bit. I went from negative 11 to negative 11. Again, our X values are staying the same. But now look, look what happened to our Y values. I went from negative 3 to positive 3. So I can't just say it went from positive to negative. This is exactly why we have to say they changed sign. Because sometimes they can go from negative to positive. If I move my original image to the other side of the screen, again, it doesn't. A oh, zero doesn't help us a whole lot. Let's look at the next one. My X value stayed the same and my Y values changed sign. It's really not going to matter where it is that I'm moving my image. It's always going to be the case. So let's go back and, f and actually write down what it is that's happening. So remember arrow notation from last time. Arrow notation, remember X and Y is just for a general point. These can be positive numbers, negative numbers, fractions, decimals, even a square root. It doesn't matter what X and Y is. We always just write X and Y for general numbers. Then we put the arrow saying that something's changing and now when we reflect it across the Y axis, the X value change sign. I put this, what we know as a negative sign in, right? Remember it does not mean negative. That symbol right there in arrow notation means changed sign. So what if this was a negative number? Then this would be a positive number. If y was a negative number, this would be a negative number. I don't write any negatives in my first set of parentheses. I simply put this opposite sign here. Okay, That just means opposite to show that my first value changed sign. Same thing with the x-axis. For every point, 
This time my first value stayed the same and my second value changed sign. All my y coordinates changed sign. Let's see what actually happens here. All right. So here I have, you need to make sure you know which one is the pre-image and which one is the image. It's hugely important when you're looking at transformations. Our regular A, B, C, D image, that's our pre-image. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, that's our image. What type of reflection is this? Exactly where did I reflect? What was my mirror? This time we've reflected across the Y axis. That's my middle line right here. Let's look at arrow notation. I'm going to pick a test point here. I'm going to pick point C. Point C is at negative 5, 4. And its image, C prime, is at 5, 4. Was it my X value that changed or my Y value? It was our X value. And how did it change? It changed sign. So I'm showing that my X value changed sign and my Y value stayed the same. Remember, this does not mean negative. It means opposite sign. And in coordinates, if I knew that point A, let's see, is at negative 6, 8. And if I know that point B is at negative 4, 8. And point C, we already found, was a negative 5, 4. And point D was at negative 7, 4. Then for my coordinates, I can simply say that I know a prime, don't forget to put a prime, because my x value change sign should be at 6, 8. Is it at 6, 8? Yep. I know that B prime, because my X value changes sign, should be at 4, 8. Is point B at 4, 8? Mm-hmm. C prime should be at 5, 4. And D prime should be at 7, 4. C prime is at 5, 4. And D prime should be at 7, 4. These are my new coordinates for my image. Those coordinates are hugely important on your assignment today. We have one more thing that we need to discuss, but I don't have enough space to put it on this video. So come to see me when you need to know where to graph the line x equals negative 1 or a line like y equals negative 2. We'll discuss that in person. Let's look at this reflection really quickly. What type of reflection is this? Where was my mirror? This time we reflected across the x-axis. The x-axis was my mirror. Remember this is my x-axis, this is my y. In arrow notation, for all our pre-image points, what happened to them? We're going to pick a test point. We're going to pick point D. No, D is not a good one to pick. Let's pick point A. Point A here is at negative 3, 6 negative 3, 6. Point A prime is at negative 3, negative 6. Which one changed sign this time? My x values or my y values? The y values changed this time so I'm going to show in my arrow notation that my x values stayed exactly the same. 
And how did our y values change? They changed sine. Remember, that doesn't mean negative. It means changed sign. So if point A is at negative 3, 6, A prime for our coordinate purpose is at negative 3, negative 6, showing that my y value changed sign. Point B will be given to us at negative 2, 4, which means B prime in this type of reflection should be at negative 2, negative 4. When my y value change sign, let's check. Negative 2, negative 4 finds B prime. C is at negative 3, 2. So where is C prime supposed to be? At negative 3, negative 2. D is at negative 4, 4, which means that D prime is supposed to be, remember the X value stays the same, Y value changes sign, and negative 4, negative 4, which is exactly where we find point D. Remember to write down any questions and to come see me when you need to know how to graph those other lines. Your assignment for this, um, for this flip chart is the reflections worksheet. Good luck and have fun.